Words with Mayor McKay. It's been a couple of weeks since the federal election and things have started to settle in now. Bill McKay, mayor of Nanaimo, here to talk to us today about what does it mean for Nanaimo, a, a majority liberal government in parliament, yet an orange island for the most part. How does Nanaimo fare in that situation? Well, it's going to be a struggle. Uh, we, we know that that generally ridings that have people on the government side of the house representing them tend to get uh, more attention. Uh, you get the ear of the ministers, you get the ear of the of the prime minister. So it's going to be difficult for us to get our message to Ottawa. However, we've got a good candidate here. Sheila Malcolmson is dedicated. She knows her way around a, 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 a you know around politics. She's been in it for a long time. So I've got all the faith in the world that she'll take forward a concerted effort for us. Is this a backward step in the progress of a fast foot ferry? Uh, in fact, the local candidate for Liberals suggested that they would support the original uh, fast, for, uh, fast ferry uh, grant. Uh, so we need to go out and explore that some more. Uh, we've actually got an ex uh, City of Nanaimo councillor who's in the Liberal government, Terry Beach. Right, one so. of the youngest councillors ever to so, sit in Nanaimo. So Terry, if you're out there, I'm going to be calling. <laughs> I noticed that. That's great. Good for him. Yeah. Good for him. Now, you mentioned we might have to work more collaboratively as a region. It's not just about Nanaimo getting the ear of the ministers now. It's about the island getting that ear. One of the struggles that we noticed in the last, in the last round of infrastructure grants from the federal government is that they have to be vetted by the province. And if your project's not on the province's wish list, if you will, or it's on their, uh, their list of, of priorities, it won't get prioritized. So we're going to have to look and talk to our neighbours about priorities for regional mm -hmm. initiatives. So that we can move forward with sort of one collective priority instead Certainly. of a little bit that gets Certainly. watered down yes. individually. Were you surprised by any of the results? Uh, not really. I was, I was disappointed. I was disappointed. I thought maybe this was the opportunity in Nanaimo that we would finally have a representative sitting on the government side of the house, but that apparently is not to be. Okay, well, we'll join you again next week for who knows what. More words with Mayor McKay. Well, would you like a reflective hand? <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much. We're actually out tonight trying to promote pedestrian safety. And what we're doing tonight is we're handing out reflectors to folks that are dressed up in dark clothing so that they can be seen by the motoring public. One of the, the myths that we really want to try to dispel is that uh, when you are walking, you might be able to see vehicles and lights and things like that quite clearly, but the reality is, is quite often they can't see you. So you blend into the surroundings. So unless you have something on that's visible or reflective, somebody may not see you until it's too late. So the things that you want to remember as a pedestrian or a cyclist when you're out there um, is to try to be off the road first and foremost and make sure that you have something that can be seen. Primarily, like clothing, even better, anything that's reflective, anything that's going to have that light uh, bounce off you and make you more visible. We've even put a few on uh, pets right now so uh, the dogs can be seen. So they're great, just little tiny things but they make a big difference for people driving in cars that can see you. So there's lots of information on icbc.com um, about being a, a pedestrian and, and um, what drivers should know as well, uh, as well as a lot of other road safety tips. So please, if you're looking for some information, that's the place to go. Uh, and if you're looking for um, a reflector while supplies last, um, you can try uh, the ICBC um, office um, or the uh, police office in Nanaimo as well too. Ron Cantillon is the chair of the board of directors for the Vancouver Island Economic Alliance, formed nine years ago now with yes. the objective to what? Well, basically it's to bring ideas together, innovation and collaboration. We want to stimulate and cross-reference different ideas from different places and get the economy of Vancouver Island moving. Is a part of that process actually identifying what the different sectors are? Well, absolutely. And uh, we do know some of the sectors. For example, forestry is a major one, and but we see it almost in a... Uh, uh, not in declining, it's improving, but it's very static. We ship lumber, we ship two by fours, 
but we, and those are commodity product purchases, we need to get more value added. We need to get more value out of the jobs mm -hmm. and jobs out of the lumber. And we're not and talking about just Nanaimo, we're talking about Vancouver Island and over to the Sunshine Coast as well. Well, that's right, and we represent everybody in that whole entire zone. That's, we're the, unique in that regard, and that we have customers and clients and, and we advocate for people right from Victoria to Port Hardy. Mm -hmm. We're the only organization that does it. What are some of the other main economic sectors? Well, of course, tourism is large. Transportation has been a big key because, of course, uh, you know, if you can't move the goods, you can't sell them. So intermodal transportation from one type of, uh, one type of transportation to another is an important consideration. Tourism, of course, is big, and uh, aquaculture is doing very well, but uh, could do better yet. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a report coming out um, that basically takes a snapshot yes. of how we're doing. Well, basically what we wanted to do was create a baseline. In other words, where are you now in terms of statistics? Uh, what is the industry like in the various uh, areas that I mentioned? What does it look like and where do, can we expect to go? Where are the opportunities? Mm -hmm. So we see that as a platform to build our, uh, our ed economy and opportunities from. What do we do well? Well, we do most things well. I mean, uh, we do actually sort of some surprising things well. Tourism has done very, very well lately with the uh, Canadian dollar. The rubber tire has come back. Forestry actually is really more an opportunity. We're doing well in terms of revenue and logging and forestry, but we could do much, much more. Mm -hmm. uh, and the high tech is uh, booming and doing some very strange, I would think, because I don't understand them. <laughs> but, but, we'll just use the products yeah. at the other end, right? We just use the product. <laughs> so there's, there's a very, very healthy uh, high tech industry on the island. What is it that we need to be doing better? What are some of our weaknesses or challenges? Well, I think we need to connect the dots. That's really it. I hate to use it. Oh, I hate that phrase. Basically, uh, we take people out of training in the universities and trade schools and say, go get a job. In Europe and other areas, they've connected the two, and we need to do a better job of that, mm -hmm. uh, where we connect the manufacturing and research that can be done at the university with actual jobs. So it's a continuum. It's not, here's your training, go get a job. Here's the job, and it's part of you, and we partner with the universities to actually create uh, manufacturing opportunities. There's many new products that are done, in the, for example, in forestry that we could be and should be doing here. Now, with a baseline that this report is establishing, yep. another report coming out annually? That's right. So we'll do it annually, and this will be then the track of the progress. And we hope we can learn from what we didn't do or what opportunities were missed, and then move the economy forward. Excellent. But it's certainly all about collaboration. I sat beside somebody who's an Aboriginal gentleman from uh, Kauza, and he didn't know that there's a support group form from uh, foreign BC FP Innovations. Mm -hmm. So they'll get together, mm -hmm. and he has some ideas where he can help them. And that, that's part of what we do, too. Excellent. Try to connect people. Thank you. Ron Cantillon, Chair of the Board of Directors for the Vancouver Island Economic Alliance. We'll let him get back to lunch. We stole him out of a room full of people in the middle of lunch. We're going to throw things over now to Kelly Thanks, Robinson. Kate. Some big changes at the City Pound. Thank you. Thank we'll you. take the mic back. Oh. <laughs>